strong, powerful, fearless, up on stage, mics, propaganda, can't touch it. Ah, must be Dark Sarah. Oh, welcome back to Napalm A to Z. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. Welcome in. It's Napalm A to Z, which means it's Monday. Today it's Dark Sarah. We're in the D's now, which means we got to come back around to this one. Now, literally back in March of last year, I did my first Dark Sarah reaction, and it was to a live performance of Dance with the Dragon. And I was really impressed by her power, her poise, her enunciation, and her control of her vocal in a live setting. Now, if she can do that live, more than likely, studio albums, which leads to videos, should be epic. Now, in Europe, having a powerful, operatic, symphonic lead power vocalist that is a female is so common, um, you could literally probably throw a rock in any village, hamlet, or town and hit about two or three of them. Be careful, they will fight back. In the United States, we really only have one, and she's been doing the same songs since 2008. That's an inside joke. Please don't like, please don't make me do Les Grossman on you, because I will. We don't negotiate with terrorists. Here we go. Napalm A to Z, Dark Sarah. This one's called All Ears, which if she's going to be singing, I will have mine open. Here we go. Check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts, the Patreon link for those who want to support the channel and the merchandise store. Whew. Here we go. I'm really looking forward to seeing if this one's different than anything else I've heard. And lately, it has been that way. Let's go. Okay, there's, there's like bunnies or foxes or animal masks, it's baby metal. And with this imagery and that low end, is this in this moment? Who is, what is going on? Okay, Paul McCartney just called Wings Once Live and Let Die Back. I get it though. It's not really a rob. It's not really, they're not stealing it. It's kind of a little play on it though because she's playing um, an evil dictator, a megalomaniac with the multiple propaganda microphones with the big poster in the back. You know, it's, it's straight out of a James Bond movie almost. Hmm. Hence the... Kind of live and let die. Think it, think it, think it. No, it's not. Na na na, na na na, na na na. It's not that, but it's that that playful. It's not a piano. It's not a hopsichord. It's almost like a synthesized hopsichord impact on a piano layout. So you can almost think it's like a um when you go on a digital keyboard and you select hopsichord four, and it's more of a pulled out pluck. Because a hopsichord is actually where it plucks strings versus impacting with a velvet hammer like a piano. That's why hopsichords have such a unique sound. It's also one of the reasons why you really don't find any anymore that are less than 200 years old. Musical history. Yep. It's not the only thing I'm full of. <laughs> Instagram hates me today. And I'm okay with it.
This is one of the softest vocal performances I've heard from her. Normally, her 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 vocal performances are very very. Um, uh, this is more like a Melissa Bonnie soft, alluring tone versus some of the stuff she's done before, like Flory Anson and Epica and and Amy Lee, where where she's like belting and doing power vocals. Um, this is a different look. Another soft thing about it is. The imagery still reminds me of In This Moment, except if you took In This Moment, made all the band members go to visit a barber and put clean clothes on, right? And then the lead singer of In This Moment did not enter an octagon fighting cage and beat the crap out of five people and come out and sing, which she does. It's the kind of, um, it's the, In This Moment takes the glam and then dishevels it right on purpose that's what gives the look this she's staying very clean proper it's a little different than what i thought i thought it was going to be a little bit more powerful i thought the music would be more epic more symphonic and that her vocal tones would be more of a belting um operatic which is what i saw in the first one dance with the dragon this is playful but it's playful in a very disturbing way Hence the people with the with the animal masks in the crowd. This dude's got a sickle in his hand and a hammer. He's literally the USSR from the 1980s right here. Except he's a bunny. And this guy's got like a pitchfork. This guy's got like some kind of axe. This guy's got some kind of bludgeoning shillelagh. Which if you're a D&D &D player, if it's magical, run. I like it, but I'm confused by it. I think it's 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 because it's so different than what I expected from her that it's from Dark Sarah that I'm enjoying it because it's creepy in an ill in a hills that I have eyes kind of way or what was the movie from Australia where there were the kids in the school and they had like the animal murderers that came I don't remember the name of that movie if somebody remembers the name of the movie please put it in the comments her tone is almost like a lullaby. It's soft. It's comforting. Yet the imagery is saying, if you cross the green screen, all these animals are going to hack you to pieces. This is called artistic creativity. This is what happens when an artist says, you know what? I'm not going to do the same thing I've done a dozen times. I'm going to do something different just to kind of make you realize it's a creative thought process. That's called creativity. It's called being an artist. There's a difference between being an artist and just repeating the same thing over and over again because that's what sells records or that's what people expect from you. And if you do anything different, you'll lose fans. A true artist doesn't care about those things. A true artist wants to just expand constantly or keep things on a pivot. Um, I'm enjoying it for that. Would I like it to be a little bit harder? Maybe. Would I like her to be a little bit more powerful in the vocal? It's what I'm used to from her. However, I accept this. Props to the leather tie.
Black Sabbath called. He wants his Iron Man riff back. It wasn't the same riff, but it had that no na 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 na. It was never mind. Um, I hear these things in my head, and most of the time it's with the voices, and the voices are so loud that I can't. Yeah. I asked for something different, and there she goes with a growl that I didn't expect. That was kind of cool. Also, you guys do realize that she's a megalomaniac Snow White. She's singing, and the woodland creatures come to her, except the woodland creatures are going to pillage and burn and raise the local villages around them. Megalomaniac Snow White. There you go. Disney called. It wants its hidden themes back. Nice! Scary. No, you know, it's like when she looks at you, you're like, oh, she's a very nice person. But you just watched her growl and make forest creatures pick up weapons. That's not, that's not nice. But it's really, really good. All right. <laughs> There'll probably be a tag on the end of this. She can definitely go to those higher levels and stuff. So if you're not, if you haven't checked out some of that other stuff, please check out Dark Sarah. This was Napalm A to Z. My name is Old School Nerd and um, not disappointed. I was confused for a second. I was scared for a couple seconds because I live in the country and there are rabbits and stuff that live in a field behind my house. If they start cleaning out my shop with uh, field tools and they start marching around the house to, to, to wings, live and let die, I'm done. There was a lot of segues in this video reaction. I don't know if you guys caught how many little things that I popped around on. My brain was all over the place, but you know, that's pretty normal for me. Dark Sarah. All right, guys. We'll see you tonight. We're making a D&D &D character inspired by another woman that intrigues us. God, we miss her already, don't we?